Just a precaution. I've been personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zaina Kazim. Sir, I understand. But you can't enter without being searched. It's standard procedure. This is ridiculous. Well, that's how it is. Zana Kazim, aka the Vulture. One of the top agents working for Crystal Dawn, the Pan African terrorist organization. I almost hired him myself once, but chose the Maelstrom instead. Now what is his business here? Think about it, and come back if you want. I'll be waiting upstairs in the reception. Understood? Crystal. Hey there. Oh. I'm sorry. I thought you were someone else. Sir, I will have to pat you down if you want to come through. Security measures. Stop. Listen, sir, there's no drama. I just need to check your pockets if you want to pass. Just relax. You'll be on your way in a sec. Okay, let's go, sir. Thank you. Oh, Mr. Kazim, I'm glad you changed your mind. Arrogance can be a dangerous trait. Yes, indeed, it can. Mr. Ingram has been expecting you. We have a conference room set up for you. Hello, sir. And make yourself comfortable. Yo, Mr. Man. Ingram will be with you shortly. Thank you. Oh, 
How are you today, sir? Please make yourself comfortable. Mr. Kazim, a pleasure to meet you. Omar tells me great things about you. I'll get straight to the point. I have a, well, let's call it a dispute, which the Royal Highness tells me you're very capable of taking care of. Now, I've worked with your organization before, in Morocco, I believe, so I'm a little hesitant. Don't be. We do what's needed. Well, only time will tell. I have two assignments for you. Take care of the first one, and then we can discuss the bigger fish. Now, on to the first. An acute problem has been brought to my attention. Keep talking. I'll be candid with you. No one is supposed to know that I'm here. However, there's a journalist down at the inauguration, and he's asking rather intrusive questions about who's staying up here, and that is a very dangerous problem for me. Now, I want you to silence this little pain. You think you can do that? It's what I do best. I like your bluntness. This is his file. Hans looked. Pulitzer winning freelance journalist. He's good. And won't give up until he gets the answers he needs. And that can't happen. Consider it done. Good man. And remember, I want a picture. I want proof so I can sleep tonight. Of course. Once this little assignment is completed, come back and talk to Miss Toe. Then we can discuss the real cancer that needs to be removed. I'm sure you can see yourself out. That's Carl Ingram. Providence partner and brass balls billionaire. A legendary political fixer, Ingram is old money and as rotten as they come. Mr. Lump, I hear you're looking for information. Oh, really? Okay. You know what's happening upstairs? I know more than you could imagine. But we can't talk here. Follow me. Great. Lead the way. Hey, long time no see. So what happened here? That, uh... Jesus! Yes, that's it. Now Ingram trusts you, it's like shooting fish in a barrel.
Yeah, hey. Sir. Mr. Kazim, welcome back. So, you have the picture? Yes, here. Good. Our guest will be delighted. Please follow me. He's waiting. Mr. Kazim, please. Looking follow good, me. man. Looking good. I hope you have had time to see the art exhibition. His Royal Highness has a keen eye for the arts. If you haven't yet, I highly recommend it. I apologize about the incident earlier downstairs, but you have to understand that we need to keep security tight, no matter who. All our guests go through the same procedure. Here we are. What's up? Mr. Ingram is expecting you. Mr. Cassie, so good to see you. Do you have the picture? Yes. Your problem is fixed. Hmm. Omar said you were good. Let's get down to the important business at hand. Okay, people, clear the room. I need to discuss some delicate business with Mr. Kazim. Perfect. Perfect. We have Ingram Rock. 